Oh yeah, I haven't been cooking lately. I've been eating um, smoked salmon <laughs> and peanuts and goat cheese. So I'm going to show you how this is done to get the salmon out of the package. I'm over here doing it at the sink because it has salmon juice in it. I don't want to get that any place besides the sink. <laughs> when I've been away from the camera for so long, when you're, you're just looking at my, I don't know what, living room lights. So, yep, here's this hunk of smoked salmon. Joe really better take the trash out tonight because the wrapper for that's in there. And um, what I eat that with, with my goat cheese is let's see craisins all the craisins a girl can get pecans No mustard. Capers is the answer to that question. Just gonna, I'm gonna caper juice up my cheese. Make it a little softer. There's a kajillion capers. Love capers with this. So now, this is a log of goat cheese that's been herbed with garlic or, you know, basil. And it's been a little, um, I don't know what I would call that, drizzled with caper juice. Okay, and so there was a fire earlier burned into my cracker. So, it's crackers. I don't know. They're not ideal. <laughs> I'll get different crackers. I know, seriously, Joe, we have got to get a fire extinguisher. Also, make sure you take the trash out tonight because it's got fish wrapper in it. Anyway. I like wheat thins are good. This is a fancy cracker stuff. Comes. Yeah, just um, I give it a dip in the goat cheese concoction. Well, this is going to be a hell of a biggie. So, goat cheese concoction, some salmon, <laughs> some berries. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm. Mm. 
caper. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing. This is how you eat smoked salmon or goat cheese. Um, 